in this video we shall discuss the rate of change we know that we have two types of variables one is independent variable and the other is dependent variable we denote always the independent variable by x and dependent variable by y so if i have a function y equal to f of x which means as x is varying y is also varying when there is a small change in x there is also a corresponding change in y suppose i differentiate this with respect to x with respect to t so i am differentiating with respect to t it become dy by dt is equal to f dash of x into dx by dt t stands for time so dy by dt is rate of change of y rate of change of y is equal to the derivative with respect to x the function's derivative into rate of change of x this is what we have learned now i'll give an example we know that volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube for a sphere if you take a sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube when radius changes the volume changes due to a marginal change in radius there is a marginal change in the volume so when i differentiate this with respect to x i get dv by dt is 4 by 3 pi now differential of r cube with respect to 3 3 r square into dr by dt so which become 4 pi r square into dr by dt so what have you understood from this formula rate of change of volume rate of change of volume is 4 pi r square multiplied with rate of change of radius so if i know the rate of change of radius i can find the rate of change of volume imagine a spherical uh, iron ball i am heating it when iron is heated it expands so i want to change find out what the rate of change of volume or I, let's take a balloon spherical balloon let's blow it so air keeps on increasing if we know the rate at which the radius is changing we can calculate the rate at which the volume is changing let's look at this example a circular disk let's say is heated then what happens to the circular disk first thing the radius will change second the area will change in this particular question they are given us at what rate the radius is changing and we want to find out at what rate area of the circle is changing so what is given to us rate of change of radius what to find a rate of change of area so the first and foremost thing when you do this step of problem first you need to identify the variables so we will say we'll start with defining the variable first so first is what are the variables radius i am denoting by r then area of circle i am denoting by a so a particular instant both of them are changing at a particular instant area is pi r square as r changes a also changes when i differentiate this with respect to t da by dt is pi into 2r dr by dt t stands for time so at a particular time rate of change of area is pi r into rate of change of radius we are given radius rate of change of radius is 5 cm so this part became 5 radius also happened to be 5 so r became 5 so if you replace dr by dt by 5 cm per second so dr by dt is equal to 5 cm per second and r by 5 cm we will get the rate of change of area so rate of change of area da by dt is equal to pi into 2 times pi into 5 now what is the unit area is centimeter square because radius is in centimeter radius is in centimeter so area is in centimeter square and rate of change of radius is per second so this also per second so your answer became 50 pi centimeters square per second this would be my answer so every time when you do a problem of rate of change first you need to identify the variable so this is step number 1 identifying the variable 
Step number two is a relationship between the variable. What is the formula connecting the two variables? Third, differentiate with respect to t, you get the formula for the rate of change. One of the rate of change out of the two will be given, find the other. So the problem is very simple. Let's have a look at the second example. We have an equilateral triangle of side. Equilateral triangles have all sides equal. So let me denote the variable as x and a as the area of the equilateral triangle. So the variable to be identified. How do you identify the variable? It is given to you. The side of an equilateral triangle varies at 2 centimeters per second. Even if you look at the number, you come to know. You have a number here, centimeter per second, so it has to be the length of the side. And we need to find the area of the triangle. So the relationship is between side and area. So you start with let length of the side is equal to x. Let area of triangle be of the equilateral triangle is capital A. So the first step is to find the relationship between the two. So once you define the variables, next step is uh, define the uh, relationship between the two variables. So area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 x square. Area of an equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 side square. Side is taken as x. Now what should I do after this? Now we want to calculate the rate. So whenever the rate word comes, you need to differentiate with respect to time. So you will differentiate with respect to time. So dA by dt is root 3 by 4, derivative of x squared with respect to t, 2x into derivative of x. So dx by dt became rate of change of the side. dA by dt became rate of change of area. Now you need to only put the data given to you. So what is given? Given are first 2 centimeters, rate of change is 2 centimeters. So dx by dt is 2 centimeters per second. Then what else they are given? The length of the side is 10 centimeter. So x is 10 centimeter. Now you need to substitute here. So dA by dt is equal to root 3 by 4 into 2 into 10 into 2. Now write the unit x is replaced by 10, dx by dt is replaced by 2 centimeters per second, area is centimeter square, so centimeter square per second. So your final answer became 10 root 3 centimeter square per second. This is your final answer. Therefore, rate of change of area is 10 root 3 centimeter square per second is your. Let's look at the variables involved here. Volume of the sphere is given to us, rate of change of volume of sphere is given to us. Surface area, rate of change of surface area need to be calculated. Radius is given to us. So the variables are surface area, volume, radius. So the first step is to define the variables. How do you define the variable? Let R be the, let R be the radius, V be the volume, S be the surface area at time t. So as the time changes, all of them is changing. So we say at time t. First we get relation between volume and radius. Actually we are supposed to get from the rate of change of volume, obtain the rate of change of surface area. But there is no formula connecting them directly. Our formula known to us are volume and radius, surface area and radius. So we start with the volume. V is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So differentiate with respect to t, 4 by 3 pi 3 r square dr by dt. So very important, as soon as you get the relationship between the variables, differentiate with respect to time. So we will be getting the rate of change of volume, rate of change of radius. One of them is given to us, rate of change of volume is given to us. We can calculate the rate of change of radius. So 8 is equal to 4 pi radius is 12, 12 square into dr by dt. So from here, I get dr by dt is 8 divided by 4 pi into 12 square. If you ask me the unit, centimeter radius is in centimeter per second. This is our rate of change of radius. Now we need to calculate the rate of change of surface area. So ds by s is equal to, s is equal to 4 pi r square. So ds by dt is 
4 pi into 2 r dr by dt. So now we know dr by dt, we know r just replaces 8 pi, radius is 12, dr by dt we calculated 8 divided by 4 pi into 12 square, this will be the dr by dt and the unit of surface is centimeter square per second, surface area rate of change. Now cancel, okay, what are the terms you can cancel? 1, 12 can be cancelled, then 4 can be cancelled, which becomes 2 and pi can be cancelled. So we have 8 into 2, 16, so 16 divided by 12, which is 4 by 3 centimeter square per second. And that is my final answer. Hence, my conclusion is, rate of change of surface area is 4 by 3 centimeter square per second. So this is a problem on flying of kite. So let's imagine the kite it has this position at a particular time t, let the kite be at this position. Let's say the buoy is at this position. The string is assumed to be in a straight, string is straight, so there's no bend in the string. We are drawing a perpendicular to the floor, to the ground, and from the beam. So let's say M is the point of intersection of the perpendicular drawn from K to the, to the ground, and B is drawn from to the, this point. Now, so that we get a right angle triangle. Now, what are the variables here? First thing, the boy is moving, is moving horizontally. So the length of BM is changing. So let me denote by X. The string's length is also changing. So let me denote by Y. So at time T, BK is Y, BM is X, and the height of the string is a fixed number, is 40 meters. The string being paid out at length, sorry, the height is 40 meters. So we can get a relationship between X and Y by Pythagoras theorem. So Y square is equal to X square plus 40 square. This will be the relation between the variable. Now we can differentiate with respect to time. So d2y dy by dt is equal to 2x dx by dt and 40 square derivative is 0 so cancel it off we want to find out what find what rate is the string dy by dt has to be found out so the rate at which the string is paid out we have to find out so dy by dt is equal to x upon y into dx by dt this is the formula that we are going to use now we'll find out what are the unknowns in this particular uh, problem. We need to calculate the value of x, y, and dx by dt. dx by dt is given to us. dx by dt is rate at which the boy is moving horizontally. So dx by dt is 3 meters per second. So dx by dt is 3 meters per second. Then we have the y is, y is 50 meters. So we need to calculate x from it. So we can write x equal to root of y square minus 40 square. So root of 50 square minus 40 square. So a square minus b square formula if you apply. So 50 minus 40 into 50 plus 40. So that is 10 into 90. That is root of 900. That is 30. So I have got x as 30 meters, y as 50 meters, and dx by dt as. So my answer is x as 30, y is 50, and dx by dt is 3, so the answer is 9 by 50, uh, 0 and 0 gets cancelled, so 9 by 5 meters per minute. That's the final answer. Let us try to understand the problem. A ladder 5 meters long rests against a vertical wall so we can imagine this are the two vertical walls and the ladder is resting on it. So we can assume this to be the ladder. Let me denote the ladder by AB. If the top slides down at the rate of 10 centimeters per second, so what, you, what is changing here? At top, B is sliding down. So let me denote this distance be y so y is changing 
when b comes down a will move out outward let's say this distance is x and the length of the ladder is phi find the rate at which the angle between the floor and the ladder which is the angle between the floor and ladder this is the angle between the floor and ladder changing so our aim is to find d theta by dt we know x and y and when 4 meters what does this 4 meters stands for when the foot of the ladder is 4 meters which means x is 4 meters we need to calculate d theta by dt when x takes value 4 so from this equation uh, from this relation, I need to get a relation between theta, x and y. So I will use sine theta because I know the hypotenuse. So sine theta is y by 5 and cos theta is x by 5. Sine theta is opposite side by hypotenuse and cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. Now I will differentiate this. So cos theta into d theta by dt is 1 by 5 into dy by dt. Remember, I know dy by dt, that's why I took this relation. And cos theta I can replace by x by 5. So x by 5 d theta by dt is 1 by 5 dy by dt. So cancelling, so d theta by dt is 1 upon x into dy by dt. Variables that is required here, x stands for the distance x is 4 meters, so x is 4 meters, then rate at which the bottom, the top of the ladder is coming down, that 10 centimeters per second here, 10 centimeter, but here is meters, so dy by dt is 10 divided by 100, and it is further sliding downward, which gives you a minus sign, and uh, meters per second. So I can write d theta by dt is 1 by 4. This becomes minus 0.1 radians per second. Why radians? Because the angle is always measured in radians in, in, a, in calculus. So this became 0 0.025 negative radians per second. What does negative stands for? Negative means the rate of change is decreasing. So the angle angle is reducing at the rate of 0 0.025 radians per second. When you use the word reducing, there's no use of writing the minus sign. You can directly write reducing 0 0.025 radians per second. Or we need to write uh, the changing at the rate of minus 0 0.0255. So we have taken coming down as sliding down as negative. That's why the rate is decreasing. You know that. When the ladder is coming down, this angle is also decreasing and not increasing. That's why we have got a negative sign here. In all throughout the solutions, increasing is positive and decreasing we are taking as negative. Now we have a slight change in the problem. Here, the, almost the same problem only it is. As you previously, as I said, we have the ladder against the wall. This is a, B, uh, we have taken the B, B a, B is the ladder. So as usual, this is coming down, which is Y. This is going up, going away from the wall. This is X. And the length of the ladder is 5 meters. So this time, we are given at what rate Y is changing. We need to find what rate X is changing. So here, the relation will not be based on angle theta. Relation will be based on the Pythagoras theorem. So we have Y square plus X square is equal to 25. Pythagoras theorem I applied here. Now I will differentiate with respect to t. So 2y dy by dt plus 2x dx by dt equal to 0. I need to find out the rate at which the ladder is, find the rate at which the foot of the ladder is sliding. So rate at which dx by dt is changing. So I can write dx by dt is equal to minus y dy by dt upon x upon x. 2 and 2 got cancelled. So y's value need to be calculated. What is y given to us? We are given as x is 4 meters. x is 4. So Pythagoras theorem, when x takes value 4, y will take the value 3. Pythagoras numbers, we can just mentally do it. So x became 4, y became 3, 
dy by dt, rate at which the ladder is coming down is 10 centimeters per second. So it need to be converted into meters per second. So let me write down. First thing, x is 4 centimeter, 4 meters. y will be 3 meters. And uh, dx, dy by dt will be 10 centimeter became minus 10 upon 100 meters per second. So that is minus 0.1 meters per second. Hence, we have x is 4 meters, y is 3 meters, dy by dt is minus 0.1 meters, and dx by dt is obtained by this formula. So your answer will be minus 3 by 4 into minus 0.1 meters per second. That gives you minus 0.75 into minus 0.1 meters per second, which gives you 0.075 meters per second. So we have noticed that d by dt is coming down towards the origin and a is going away from it. That's why d by dt is negative, but dx by dt is positive, which shows that a is moving away from o.